Everyone knows communication is super important in a game like Overwatch, but what do good comms actually sound like? Is it worth the extra energy, especially if you have teammates that probably won't listen to you? The answer is that yes, you can absolutely carry games with just communication, and if you're really serious about winning and ranking up, you should use every advantage that you can get. But the reality is that your teammates have to be able to hear you, and sometimes you're going to get games where nobody's in voice chat. But even if it's just one other person in voice chat, you can still work together with them. I'm going to walk you through a top 500 game that I played, where my team and I both calmed really well and won a game that we never would have won without comps. You'll learn what good communication sounds like and how to sort of lead your teammates into good vibes, good comms, and hopefully victory. My duo Ruben has a catchphrase. He says this in the exact same way at the start of every single ranked game he plays. Yo, 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 how you guys doing? It seems silly, but it actually has a really positive effect. A huge part of having good comms is just creating good vibes. If you sound like you're having fun and happy, then it makes everyone else a little happier too, and that makes people play better. Just saying hello at the start of the game can 1. break the ice so people won't be afraid to calm, and 2. just sets the vibe as like, yo guys, we're happy right now, we love each other. It's a really simple thing and it can help you in games. You find these guys. They're running. Soldier, Sim, uh, Junker Queen, on. Oh, Doom is very low. Rip. We start this game off with my duo listing what the other team is running as soon as he sees them. He's on Sombra, so it's easier for him, but if I didn't have him, I'd be doing it myself. Knowing what the other team is running changes how you play the first fight drastically. So if I'm on a super mobile hero, I'll try and run a little bit ahead, or if I'm on defense, I'll stay a little bit further forward and list out what they're running. Of course, if you're not on a mobile hero, don't worry about it. Your team will see what they're running at the same time as you, so don't list it out because they might think that you think that they're stupid. Which, like, you can think they're stupid, but you don't want them to think that you think that they're stupid. <laughs> Sim right. Play right side, play right side. Whenever a Symmetra uses wall, we calm what side we're going to play on so that there's no shield in between our team. Yep, I am backing up. I have beat no, for the queen ult. One important part of every hero is saying how you're going to use your ult. This would be especially important if I had, for example, a Kiriko, who would be holding cleanse for the queen ult. Now she knows I'll beat it so she can use it freely without worrying about saving it. Now, I'm not naive enough to think that your ranked teammates are going to be able to infer this themselves, so you need to kind of hold their hand and tell them the extra thing. Like, in this situation, I would say, I'm gonna beat the queen ult, you can use cleanse whenever. Another example is the other team has Sigil and we're running Baptiste Lucio. I'll tell my Lucio, hey, I have Lamp, if they flux, save your beat. So I use Lamp, we live, and we have beat now for when we need it. Let's fix that. We got Nano Rail. I'm beating this. Oh, you can still win. You she has Queen ult after, Queen ult after. We immediately get anti and someone gets low, so I call off the plan I had for my ult and just use it. I also remind them that now, because I've called off the plan, we have to worry about Queen's ult again. It seems repetitive to say this, considering it's kind of obvious, but mid-fight, everyone's worrying about their own thing, and it's difficult to make that extra step of thought when you're thinking about so much other stuff. I go on the soldier in three, two, one. Here, my Doom is trying to work with Sombra in order to dive soldier at the same time. By saying when he can go, it lets Sombra prepare for it, and in a perfect world, they'll both dive him together. What the hell? I'm dead. Um, we might be able to win this fight that guy hates out. woman. Here we're down one, but Ruben says winnable. Comms like this can be really helpful when it seems like your team is hesitating or something bad happens. It skips over that moment of hesitation and gets everyone focused and on the same page. I'm flanking left or some shit. Yeah, sim on me. A sim is trying to spawn get bar on us, so instead of fighting her alone, she doesn't engage, she lets the whole team know, and they go to help her. Uh oh, don't die, I'm moving cart. I'm her other support, but I have to move the cart, so I tell her that, hey, I'm on cart. You're not gonna get any healing over there, so be careful. Yeah, I'm chilling. Oh, get her! Nice. Got her ass. Ow! They're on Orisa. Oh, no nade. He's 
fortify early. She can die. Great. Yeah, Arisa dies. Yeah, no. Calming Arisa's cooldowns. This is done all the time for like every single hero. Here we say, oh, she has no fortify. Oh, and her spin is about to go down. We should focus her. She's going to have nothing to stay alive. Another example is like calling out Zarya bubbles. Oh, she's low on Zarya bubbles and she's being super aggressive. Let's punish her for it. Or maybe Sigma's grass. Hey, there's Sigma use grass. Now we can use Baptiste window on him and he won't have anything to survive. I'm playing right, I'm playing right. No, left now, left now. The uh, yeah, is dead though. It's winnable still. I yeah, I have mana. I can mana. You get back so sooner than our doom. Enemy here. here we're calling to back off because we have no doom. We're talking about the numbers that both our teams have and when each of the dead guys are going to get back. Both teams are 4v4, but because their Lucio died before our doom did, he's going to be back slightly before him which means that we're going to be at a slight disadvantage for a few seconds while our doom still comes back. It's important that we're far enough away that they can't capitalize on that short time period where they have a number advantage. But we realize that Orisa also died and she's getting back super late, so we push forward intending to take advantage of our short-term number advantage. We get back sooner than the Orisa. I'm I'm yeah, they're hiding us. Let's be you. So, Sim behind. Soldier's one in the mini. They're on cast now. And Sombra. That's amazing. And they're on Sombra? That's great. Man, this is about to be the most unplayable game ever. Oh, for you, Holy. yeah. Good luck. No, oh they're my god. Anti Doom no, Bomb, I know. Good for us, Keeping an eye on Tab in between fights lets you know when they've swapped heroes before you actually see them. Now our Doom knows he needs to play super safe because he's quintuple countered. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> what? Oh my lord, they you. delivered you to Jesus. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, oh. Holy fuck, your health bar. Yeah. I need care if you can. I'm gonna die. Don't die. I'm trying to give you the god pocket. Calling for care is the most important comm you can ever make, especially if you're a support. If I'm Breaker Lucio and my honest screams I need care, I will drop everything to help her right that moment. As she presses I need healing, I'll try and help, but it's not going to be as fast. I mean, I need healing can mean a lot of things. Also, I need healing is only heard by your supports, and I need care can get you the help and attention of your tank or your other DPS or anyone on the team. And just using your voice and a sense of urgency will always register faster in someone's mind than pressing X. You punch through the mega! I am sorry. Hey. She's one. Damn it. I might have just act I actually just saved the Sabra. Holy shit. <laughs> no okay. way. Oh. Okay, we have EMP. The way these two guys process this situation is so important. Doom doesn't take it as an insult, he just says, my bad guys. Samra says, it's all good. We move on, everyone's happy, and the vibes are still good. If these guys start flaming each other right now, we're going to lose the game. No matter who you are, if the team vibe is bad and everyone's insulting and flaming each other, you're all going to play worse. Being able to take criticism or swap heroes if someone asks nicely, not letting your ego get in the way, and... Always staying positive and keeping up the good vibes will win you so many games. It's a buff by itself. If you really care about winning, you should never flame someone. Whenever you're ready. I can go in four. I'm behind on me. She's on me. I am ready. They're all what? Never mind, they're not one anymore. Nice to yourself. This is an amazing example of using comms to coordinate an ult and a dive. Ruben says he's going to EMP, Doom says I'm ready in 3, 2, 1, Sombra EMPs, Doom goes, and stuff happens. They're on, it can die. No, I can go. Help our Dude, this is just fucking pure hatred. Um, oh know. my god. Go no, I don't think so. Oh yeah, you have nano, you have nano. What if I go Brig? Nah, I, I honestly think. Mm. Uh, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. Because the best way to counter Sombra is just supports. If we pick the right supports, you just can't do anything, genuinely. The way that Ruben asks Ana to swap here is so nice. 
If you're ever asking someone to swap, do it in as nice a way as possible. It's really easy to take someone asking you to swap as an insult, and if you feel insulted, you don't want to listen to them and you're going to get angry. So by being a jerk when you ask someone to swap, not only do you piss them off, but it's also very unlikely that they'll actually swap. And sometimes it's not even just being a jerk. If you just like have the wrong tone of voice or you sound a little bit angry, it can be read the complete wrong way. This is fine. We just need to win this with like one ult max and then we can steamroll to the end. A little pep talk when things look grim, outlining our chance at victory keeps the vibes up. They used fucking everything. They have nothing. Okay, I'm doing the same thing, nano rail, light work. Oh, uh, you might have to nano too. Nah, I'm nano Come to the right, come to the right. Yeah, yeah. Running! On to... That's it. I hate my life. I reset no abilities. Oh, she has gold. Oh shit, she has <coughs> We traded some bros, but I can back back. She's still back there, you guys good? Good, nice. good, 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 good. Winnable. Here is where ult tracking comes into play heavy. We realize that they use every single ult to win the fight before, and now we have a big ultimate advantage. We have three ults, and they have nothing. We Don't just break. win fight by fight, one ult only. It's important that we don't throw this opportunity away, and how do we throw it away? By using every ult in one fight. Blowing our load, so to speak. So I emphasize it, I stress it, I try and push this point in every way possible. We can win this with rally. We don't need ults here. I'll rally back, don't use ults. Okay, we're winning. No more ults this fight. Anything I can possibly say to stop my teammates from using every single ult in one fight. I'll triple back you. I'm dead. Yeah. yeah. We can still win with rail. Maybe we can get Ford spawn away. No, I have to back. Right. Nice, yeah, we're even, we're even. We can win this with rally. Yeah. Arisa one, Arisa one. Huge. I'm not gonna ult, we're gonna be five. Arisa got shit spawn. Ana close. This is super winnable. Ana, Ana and Brick are close. Both support it. I'll rally back, I'll rally back. Nothing else, nothing else. What the? She literally Shit. just signed up for death by EMPing there. I'll try to hack uh, Arisa out of ult. She has it, right? No, 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 not yet. Yep. Uh, she's no, like not close yet. to it. Oh, she's close though. Oh, she's looking. She does, she does. Yep. I'll cancel. Holy Shit. fuck. This is last fight. No. It's because I rallied. I shouldn't oh, have rallied. Fucking demon. Damn it. We can get back. I'll go Lucio. Damn. Live, 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 or die now. Get out or die now is a comm that I use a lot. Dying quickly is a skill that many players lack, so if you can't get out, stand still and die. You're wasting time staggering yourself, and sometimes those few seconds can mean the difference between getting one more fight or not. This is super winnable. Did they already yeah, yeah, that? They did, they did. They, okay. yeah, 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 they soloed me. I think they have EMP. Oh, oh all they have is noon then. And they're pushing the card, which is kind of grief. Make sure that we I can touch yeah, here. Yeah, you got it? Okay. Oh, the noon. There's five seconds left before overtime, so we're coordinating who's going to touch the point. It's better that one person gets it than three of us in for it and someone dies trying to touch. Nice. I'm car, I'm oh car. God, I'm stepping me. off car for Ana, help. Go cart, go cart. What? Number one. Arisa's is behind us. We can stagger her. Yeah. Uh, can somebody else get point? Oh, yeah, I'm on. I'm on. I'll stay. I'll stay. Dude. I'm gonna scream Ooh. if I have to step off. Okay. okay. I have no ults. Maybe rally. They'll get it late fight. You can go in that old doom. Yeah. There's Saunders going bottom. I'm stepping off for search. Okay, I'm going back. I got her, I got her. Help me. I go nano doom whenever. Help Rana, help Rana. Arisa, Arisa, Arisa one, Arisa one. Brig, brig, brig. Brig close. We have to kill this brig. Brig one, brig one, nice. Cass. Kiri no TP, Kiri no TP, burn Kiri. Kiri one, Kiri one. Nice, huge. 
Who's their touch? It's Sombra touch. Doom's on now. Doom, doom, doom. I'll beat for you. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god. That was awesome. Good guys, win again. We're really going to grand finals. Shit, Let's go. This <laughs> Now I know this game was a dream, even in top 500, a lobby that comms like this is super rare, but that doesn't mean that you can't com or that you can't win games with comms. So long as people are in voice chat, even if you're the only one talking, you can have a bigger impact than if you weren't talking at all. But the most important message to get from this video is vibes. Just keep everyone happy, keep everyone positive, and you're going to win a lot more games.